Alright, did you see where I left the DL? I could have sworn it was around here somewhere. Oh. Oh, there it is. Hey, welcome back to the DL. Hey, welcome back. A lot of stuff has happened since the last episode. I just uh, haven't had time to put it all together yet. So uh, real quick, I'll just touch on the many things that have happened since the last episode. Uh, Dane fought in a tough man contest in Morgantown, and he won his fight. Uh, I went to a hockey game with the Wheeling Nailers in Wheeling. That was pretty cool. Uh, I went to Berkeley Springs to a cabin with April, Dane, Brittany, Timmy, and Jennifer. And as you know from the last episode, I sold my Cabrio, and since then I have picked up my new car, and I will be going into detail on that in a moment. I went to Universal Studios with my mother. Uh, I watched Ben graduate from Wesleyan. And finally, most recently, as of yesterday, Timmy and Adrian came over to visit. You know, what's interesting is there's these new uh, Pennsylvania state tax commercials that are basically begging you to pay your back taxes that you forgot to pay or didn't pay, chose not to pay, whatever. And it's kind of creepy. Basically, they're claiming that they know everything about you, they know where you live, and if you don't pay your taxes, something's going to happen to you. So... Here is an honest-to-God, untouched, this is exactly what's on TV right now version of one of their commercials. If you owe the state of Pennsylvania back taxes, you know who you are. We've already made you an offer. Pay up by June 18th with no penalties and half off your interest. After June 18th, well, things will get complicated. It's, it's pretty scary. Like, I mean, I, I don't even live in Pennsylvania, and it's kind of creeping me out. So I went to the liberty of creating the version of the commercial that uh, everybody's kind of picturing in their minds. If you owe the state of Pennsylvania back taxes, you know who you are. We've already made you an offer. Pay up by June 18th with no penalties and half off your interest. After June 18th, well, things will get complicated. So I told you I was going to go into more detail about the car I just bought, so now is the time that I'm going to do that. Basically, I sold the Cabrio, which was getting about 20 miles per gallon on 93 octane gas, which it was about 
a gallon at the time. And this uh, turbo diesel I got came modified from the previous owner, so it really makes more power than the V6 and the Cabrio did, except because it's a Volkswagen turbo diesel, it gets 40, 45, 50 miles per gallon, depending on how I drive, on diesel. And diesel is the same price as 93 octane, so essentially I'm paying less than half as much per gallon of fuel than I was before for more power. So that's hard to argue with. Other than that, the car is the same year, so uh, a lot of the stuff is the same. It's got racing seats and harnesses, upgraded wheel suspension, European bumpers, etc. Uh, one really cool feature that I'm going to go over briefly is the alarm system that came with the car. Basically, it has a two-way remote, which means not only can the remote communicate to the car, for example, to lock or unlock it, but the car can communicate to the remote. So, for example, and this has happened, if I'm in a restaurant and someone hits my car with the door of their car, the remote will vibrate and tell me on the remote that the car has been hit, which is a pretty cool feature. Other than that, you can see that I can uh, actually start the car by pressing a button on the remote. Also, if I arm the alarm system on the car. That'll make it so that if anyone hits the car, the alarm will go off, which is handy around where I live. And finally, a uh, feature slash thing that the car has is that it has no door handles. They have been uh, taken off and filled in, which looks cool, but yeah, you have to ask the question, how do you get into the car? And the answer is you push a button on the remote and the door pops open which is pretty cool. It's also pretty cool because it smokes like crazy if you want it to, which is a cool feature of a diesel because if you've ever been driving on the road and some guy was acting like a jerk, you can just pull in front of him and smoke the crap out of him. fun you should try it.